say life, say life. Somebody say life, say life. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. The sun wake up. And wake up and start to talk. Yes, sir. With his mother. Mm. But not only that, hope was restored. Yes. Relationship yes. was restored with yes. our son. Yes. But relationship started with Jesus Christ. Yes. 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 Jesus did something for her. Yes. Jesus gave her yes. her future. Yes. Her promise. Yes. But let me tell you something. The lady did not have any identity. She had to live her identity through her husband and her son. And that identity was taken away. So as we talk about reaffirming our identity as a people. Many times white people are gone into sin and the captive. We don't know who we are. Or well, some people say me about too much weight, but me not tap it food till me dead. <laughs> you know what? See me so I feel them this this. And me not bleach out this a black skin as in no body. <laughs> Reaffirming your identity, who you are in Jesus Christ. And so this evening in Thompson to Town, the meeting continues tomorrow through Friday, where the gospel will be proclaimed nightly at different spots. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise in this place. Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. Amen. Your hope is gone. I want to pray with some people. Amen. You may feel like your hope is gone, but Jesus can restore that hope again. Yes. He can call you back to that place where he can save you. He can deliver you. I want to see those who are not Christians out here this evening. As we are here, you're not a Christian. Nobody don't have to force you. Nobody don't have to tell you. We want to pray with you. We want to start the conversation with you this evening. We want to just pray with you. And we want to tell you to come. Come. Pray for us. Yes. Yes. I said pray for us. Yes. And as we pray for you, you will come into a relationship. That's right. I was preaching in Trinidad and when I called him Monday night for prayer. Man said, man, I ain't coming for no prayer. He said, come man. You don't know what will happen. The next night he came to church. I saw him running quickly. He said, preacher, I need to talk to you. I said, I can't talk now. He said, preacher, I'm begging you. I want to talk to you tonight. She said, he said, preacher, I thank God for the power. Because I've not been behaving myself. When I go home last night, my wife had him a shit. And I was sleeping. And the wife came over me. But the wife said something. Something held her hand. It was a power of God's answer. You don't know about your tomorrow. You don't know what will happen the next minute from now. I'm going to invite you to come. You've been in the storm. It seems like just walk away. Your night of confusion.
you. Come, come, God bless you. Oh, oh no.
have heard the proclamation of this great gospel. Once again you have heard that Christ can renew your hope. Once again you have heard he wants to begin a relationship with you. Once again you have heard once again a chance to hear he that have an ear he that have an ear comes to town 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 Oh, somebody worship him over this place. Somebody worship him over this place. Somebody worship him in this place. Somebody worship him in this place. Come sit down. Come, sir, come, come, come. Come, I'm waiting for somebody else. Come. Come, sir, come, come, come. Come, man, somebody, we come to Thompson Town. You don't know we come to Thompson Town. God send the, the, the parish of Clarendon to Thompson Town. Something must be behind this. Something must be behind this. Jesus, come for somebody. In Thompson Town tonight. Come, sir, come. and your love thanking you that you are the one that save and keep we know oh God you continue to minister to your people and so God as we stand here in this community we know that you are merciful God but we understand God that time you will send us out to warn to warn a city and so God we have come and proclaim this simple gospel this evening yes. and so gracious God even those who have come to this altar Lord we don't know what is happening but God we ask you to save somebody God persons are in trouble even now trouble in this community but God we pray for protection we ask you God to protect them from that evil one Mighty God of Daniel, walk through this community one more time. Thank you, God, for these young girls and boys, men and women who have come to you today. Thank you that you love them. Thank you that you care for them. Thank you that you are ministering to your people. God of mercy. 
there is somebody maybe sitting on their veranda in their living room but they are hearing this gospel father give the wind a mighty voice give the wind a mighty voice for we know that you say you preach and you satisfy oh god say the one this evening say that one Lord, we hand them into your care. Yes, Lord. For you are the one that conflicts. And you are the one that sins. It is in your mighty hand that we leave them now. Do the saving, we pray. And cover them, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Make up your mind to serve the Lord. We are here from Tom Stone's the closest church. Praise God. Feel free to come to us. The deacons are there. Praise God to further lead you to Christ and to pray with you. We praise the Lord and to encourage you. We're going to sing one verse of to God be the glory. Praise God. I'm going to ask Reverend Dwayne Williams to come and to pronounce the benediction. I'm not sure if we're going to be marching back to the church. Praise God. So to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Receive the blessing and now may mercy, grace, and peace from God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Amen, amen. and amen. Go